Hello and welcome to Skyvia Tutorials. In today's video, we'll check how to sync data between Salesforce and BigQuery with no coding. For this tutorial, we chose two scenarios, replication of the leads data from Salesforce to BigQuery for future data analysis, and the reverse ETL of the data from BigQuery to Salesforce. This tutorial assumes you already have a Skyvia account. If you don't have it yet, you can create it for free by following the link in the description. Before you start building integrations between Salesforce and BigQuery, make sure to create a connection to each of them. In addition to cloud source connections, Skyvia supports connections to a wide range of databases and data warehouses such as BigQuery, Snowflake, Redshift, SQL Server, MySQL, Postgres, and others. To create a connection to Salesforce, click Create New, Select Connection, and choose Salesforce. Log in with your credentials to create a connection. To create a connection to BigQuery, log in with your Google account and enter your project ID, dataset ID, and a cloud storage bucket. Once the connections are ready, let's move to replication. Replicating Salesforce data to BigQuery can enhance data management, analysis, and reporting capabilities, providing a foundation for better decision-making and business intelligence. To replicate your leads data, click New and choose Replication. Select Salesforce as source and BigQuery as target. Look for lead in the list of available objects and select it for replication. All the lead fields will be replicated by default. If you want to replicate specific fields only, click Edit. Here you can manually mark fields for replication and apply custom filters. If you have new replication runtime enabled, you can select replication modes per object and hash sensitive data if needed. Replication modes that are available are standard, which is assigned to each object automatically and applies the default replication behavior. Resync, which forces the full replication of the object by dropping and creating a table and target during each replication run. Resync on demand, which is created for objects that are part of your replication but are not required for each replication run. With Resync on demand, you can include the object in the next replication run by resetting its last sync time. There is also a history mode. Use it to track the history of the entries in your database. Enable it for the chosen objects in source to store every change made to the object's rows and target using the type 2 slowly changing dimension. It basically adds a few more fields to your object that help to keep multiple versions of the same rows and check the status of the row and its changes during the specific period of time. Once it's done, click Save. Additionally, you can customize replication options. Enable incremental updates to include only changes applied to data since the last replication run. Select the Update Schema checkbox to apply data structure changes made in the cloud app to the database schema and target. Also, you can choose to create or drop tables. Once this is done, you can run or schedule your replication as you see fit. Let's schedule the replication to run every day at 10 a.m. Berlin time. After you run the replication, you can check the execution status and its results on the monitor and log tabs where you will see the number of successfully replicated rows and error messages in case something went wrong. In addition to replicating cloud data to BigQuery, Skyvia enables you to perform a reverse ETL, return important data from the data warehouse back to Salesforce, so the business teams can use it in to perform operational tasks. To do so, click New and choose Import. Select BigQuery as Source and Salesforce as Target. To define what data to load from BigQuery to Salesforce, where to load it and how to map it, create an import task by clicking Add New. You can add any number of import tasks to your integration. Let's import accounts data by selecting Account Object from the drop-down list. Here you can optionally apply filters to data. For example, let's choose only active account by selecting only accounts where active equals true and click next step. On the target definition page, select the account object in Salesforce to load data into and one of the available operations. Insert add source data to target. Update updates the values in target according to values in source. Upsert combines insert and update operations and adds new records while updating existing ones. Delete deletes the records from target. As we are interested in updating Salesforce records, we continue with the update operation. Skyvia tries to map fields automatically. However, you can remap any field as you see fit. There are four mapping types available, 
column, constant, lookup, and expression. Let's use the constant and set the description to updated. Once this is done, click Save and Create. Now you can run your import, schedule it for the future, check the current import execution, and the results of your previous imports. Additionally, you can set up email notifications to receive in case of partial or complete failure of your integration. For those who like building ETL pipelines, Skyvia created data flows. It is designed for cases when you work with multiple data sources simultaneously and apply complex data transformations or custom logic, or you just prefer a visual designer. Here you can perform the same import and apply additional data transformation with the help of data flow components. For example, here we add a new custom field based on two other fields available in BigQuery. Thank you for watching this BigQuery and Salesforce integration tutorial. If you have any additional questions, feel free to drop us a comment below and we will help you. To try Skyvia for free use the link in the description. See you in the next videos.